What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornbrad89 here bringing you another video and today something different. Not a rad movie review or a ranking video, going back to some physical media stuff. Today we're going to be chatting my thoughts on why I think it's a great time to get into physical media collecting in 2024 and also my thoughts on what are great ways to search out good deals, especially if you're new to collecting, to choose your path on what you want to do and what are the best ways to go about it. And also maybe some mistakes I've made over the years in terms of collecting as well so stay tuned to this video i hope you enjoy it let's do this roll it So in terms of my history in collecting, you can tell that like looking at my background right here, I've been a collector pretty much a majority of my life in terms of action figures. I got pop heroes, physical media, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, stuff like that. I have comics. I have, you know, t toys, books. We have Harry Potter books and Goosebumps books. So I've been collecting for many, many years. Not too much in terms of video games. I used to be really big into video games and collecting those, but I don't have video games. So I'm not as knowledgeable in that market. I can tell you that right now. But in terms of the other markets, it's a really booming thing right now. So to talk about it, like that's some history on me and also uh, some big things is why I think it's a great thing. That's something else 2024 is there is a lot of awesome avenues in terms of when you want to search out great deals or where you're going to go there's a lot of good places because walmart is big into physical media right now they are really big in terms of vinyl records even cds and stuff like that music is booming right now too and vinyl records actually accounts for a majority of the music sales right now so vinyls are really big and they're back in the game also, like I said, movies when it comes to steelbooks and DVDs and Blu-rays, Walmart's really big on that. Not so much Best Buy anymore, they're not into that, but you can go search out boutique labels and boutique labels are places that I love to go to grab my movies, such as Vestron Video. They they take good care and they put out really cool stuff. Also, we have Scream Factory. They put out some fantastic box sets and they take real good care of their screen of their physical media. So there's a lot of good avenues and places to go to search out the best deals and really cool physical media that you want to pick up. And the best things about these boutique labels like Aero Video, Scream Factory, Vestron Video, Vinegar Syndrome, they have really good half-off sales when it comes to, you know, halfway to Black Friday or during Christmas time or Halloween time. They have really fantastic sales, but also you could link in and sign up on those profiles or on those websites and have your email as one of those people that they can send you information on when they're having good sales or when they're selling good, you know, pre-sales on certain items that you know we're going to go and sell out you know because there's sometimes really good hot items that when they put them out and especially if they're limited edition and they only make like 500 or a thousand copies it's very limited edition and people want to go scoop that up so sometimes they they sell really quick so it's cool to go to those sites like I said all these different boutique labels make sure you link in your email with them because like i do that all the time and you get their newsletters and all their emails and information so there's a lot of fantastic stuff. And like I said, when it comes to boutique labels, especially 2024, 23, they've been taking really good care of their stuff. Like I said, this Jason box set by Scream Factory is one of my favorites. Like that's something that I had to splurge on that I couldn't wait on. That is something that I really wanted. So it's like, they just take really good care of their products. You know what I mean? So if you really want to have the best in collecting and you're looking for that kind of stuff, Blu-rays, 4Ks and DVDs, Boutique labels is where it's at, but you can also go out in the wild. Like I said, I do that a lot. Go out in the wild and search for really good deals. Like I said, at Walmart or a Savers or a dollar store, there are some really good deals out there in the wild as well. Now, some mistakes, let's get into some negatives. Some mistakes I've made over the years of collecting is taking care of your stuff. Really look up how to take care of your stuff, you know, because for real, like you want to have a good place to keep your shelf, to shelve your stuff, your books, anything, or even when you, if you collect masks, 
to keep the latex, to keep the rubber. You have to look up the best ways to keep your stuff and protect it and everything, especially if you live in a certain climate that's very damp. You want to look that up. You know, me, I live in New Mexico, and it's very freaking dry out here, so I don't have to worry about dampness, but I have to worry about a lot of dust and a lot of sand. So there's a lot of dusting and a lot of sanding when it comes to my room and my house and stuff like that. So there are certain things like that that you have to keep up on. Also, if you're going to commit, if you're going to start collecting, make sure you're going to commit and understand why you're becoming a collector. I love owning movies that I love. Like, I just love owning them. I love owning stuff like this. Like, this is Kurt Angle, and it's an action figure. I don't open this, but I love owning this because I'm a wrestling fan. Kurt Angle is one of my favorite wrestlers, and it's just very important to me. And even if when I die and pass on, I'm going to give this to my kids or my son or something like that. And if he wants to open it, he can open it. He can do whatever he wants with it. I'm going to be dead and gone by that time. But like I said, the, like this Jason, Friday the 13th Part 2, Fr Jason's one of my favorite horror icons, one of my favorite characters in cinema, and I love owning these very detailed figures. So all this stuff represents my personality, a part of me, and I like owning it. I like having it. Like I said, it's just these are just physical items, just things to own. Like I said, these don't serve any purpose in terms of feeding me or, you know, housing me or building a home or anything like that. But like I said, these are things that just are very important to me for those reasons. And like I said, if you're going to get into collecting, understand why you're becoming a collector and commit to it. Because another thing I did too is I started collecting probably... I want to say when I was 11 or 12, physical media like Blu-rays, you know, stuff like this and DVDs and everything. And I actually had probably close to like, I want to say 700 or 800. I ended up selling over half of my collection off one time. And I really do regret it. There's still times to this day I regret it because there are additions and things that I owned and I have that I just, it's very hard to find them now. Or I owned it and it represented that specific time or it was very important to me, but now that stuff's gone. So like I said, you have to really understand, are you committing to this thing as a collector and jumping into it? Also, poster collecting. I told you I was a big poster collector. So if you're into posters and stuff like that, moviepostershop.com. That's a main place that I go. I'll have that link in the description so you can go to that website. They have really good deals too, like the boutique label sites. That's a big place where I go to get my posters and stuff like that. But also posters you can find in the wild. There's a lot of stores like Hot Topic, Spencer's, FYE, even Walmart. So there, there are poster sections basically almost at every store you go to. I think even Target still has a poster section. So you can go search them out. But MoviePosterShop.com has more movie theater release posters that I love. They have 11 by 17s. They have the, the 28 by 41s. They have the 20 by 28s, you know, the, the different sizes, all kinds of shapes and sizes. So that's why I like going there. And they have, like I said, really good sales and deals and stuff like that. So that's another website that I sign up to with my email so I can get the newsletters anytime stuff comes out and everything. So there's a lot of good avenues. And that's why I said 2024 is a great time to get into collecting, like I said, m music, movies, you know, books and comics and stuff like that. Those are really big and mangas right now are really big as well. A lot of people are into animes. So if you're into collecting and you want to start, like I said, commit, find out why you're collecting, what you really want to, and go search out the best deals. Because like I said, you don't have to settle for a certain price for something. There's always a different price if you want to find the best deal. But then there's also some things, like I said, I'm a huge Jason fan. No matter how much this was going to be, I was going to scoop this up. So understand as a collector, what is the most important thing to you as well? And also, I want to shout out a friend of mine, Jason, the old millennial. He's more knowledgeable on music stuff. So if you want to get into vinyl collecting and more music knowledge, that's a great channel to go to because, like I said, he's been slowly building up his vinyl collection. And like I said, that's booming right now. CDs, you can still find CDs, cassettes, not as much 
cassettes you kind of have to find at like a garage sale or more like a dollar store or a savers type place but cds and vinyl records are really selling right now as well so jason the old millennial that is a fantastic channel and he's a great buddy of mine so i would suggest running over to that channel i'll have that link in the description too so you can click on that link right away and go sub over there because like i said he has some very great knowledge on music content Thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. I know it was kind of maybe a lengthy one, but it was a lot of fun talking this new stuff, physical media, and this is something of a different video, you know, sharing more of my knowledge of collecting with you, my mistakes and all that kind of stuff, and why I think collecting is fun, the importance of it, and also, like I said, why I think 2024 right now is a fantastic year to get into collecting. So thank you for sticking around with me. Please stay tuned to the channel for any other videos I'm dropping. Like the video that helps out the channel and share the videos too. If you like the content that helps out us YouTubers, share our content and have that notification bell poked so you're notified, notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.